Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hey, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. We record these interviews so that potential buyers can learn more about the business and the seller to help them make an informed buying decision. If you would like to learn more about this business, including details like what type of business it is, how much revenue and profit it makes, and all of the assets included with the business, simply visit empireflippers.com forward slash marketplace and search for this business's listing number, which you can find in the video thumbnail and in the description. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. So without further ado, let's get into this interview. First up, let's learn a little bit about you. Can you tell us about your background in building and running online businesses? The business I'm selling is related to a game I've played and loved for a really long time. It's actually one of my biggest hobbies and has been since I was a teenager back in the 90s. My career in business started in corporate IT, but I always wanted to work for myself. So by 2017, I had built up a big enough portfolio of content websites to focus full time on my online publishing business. So this site that's for sale has been the best performer in my portfolio for years. So why are you selling the business now instead of keeping it and growing it further? A lot of people have asked why I'm selling this site when it's been nearly doubling year over year. There's still so much room for growth, but when I look at the opportunities to grow it, I can tell that it'll take someone with a different skill set and team than I have. I'm ready to hand off the business to an organization that has the drive and the resources to take it to the next level. And personally, I want to take a break. I've been working hard on this site since 2016, and I'm ready now to focus on other projects and, of course, family time and travel. As a bonus, I think it would be really nice to be able to turn my favorite game back into a weekend hobby instead of a day job. Looking back at your journey with this business... Did you learn any interesting lessons or techniques that you think contributed to the business's success? I think there are three big reasons the business has grown so successful. First is my passion for the niche. Being someone who loves the game and knows it inside and out has allowed me to create the best content, the best software, and honestly, to see opportunity everywhere. I think the second key advantage was noticing that there was a big gap in the market for good SEO content in the niche. And also, basically, no one in the space was even doing email marketing the right way. The third key is my publishing organization. I have a wonderful staff of editors, developers, and writers, and I couldn't have done this without them. It is a joy to work with fellow gamers who share the same passion as you. On the flip side of the coin, was there anything you tried that didn't quite work out or it didn't go according to plan? There have been some things over the years that didn't work great. Everyone in gaming thinks that influencers are a goldmine, for example. But I've tried influencer marketing and sponsorships, and it was extremely difficult to get an acceptable ROI on my campaigns there. Social media has also been a bit frustrating for me. I run social media channels like Facebook and Twitter, but I've really never built up a ton of momentum with them. I could imagine a buyer being much more skilled in this area. And the same goes for video. I've dipped my toe into creating video content and YouTube, but it's really not my strong suit, nor do I have the team built out currently to do that. And finally, there's one more thing specific to this site that's pretty unusual. I get contacted fairly often by people who want to partner up and do research projects because the data from the site and the app are so unique. We actually did get an academic paper published, but from a business perspective, supporting these projects has pretty much been a waste of time. I think it would take someone with more expertise in data science and software products to tap into the value of all this data. Can you describe the amount and the type of work that you do on this business to maintain it? You know, I used to work full time on this site, but I've been phasing myself out the past few years. At this point, I'd say I put in about 10 hours a week, and that number is still dropping. 
The site's main workload is publishing about 15 articles a week, and that's completely handled by my staff. I have a manager who oversees all the writers and editors, plus he also helps with software releases. I also have a dedicated SEO person and a part-time developer on the team. After that, that leaves me with pretty much just the most strategic tasks in the business. I manage advertising partnerships, affiliate program relationships, and also some financial stuff, like I run the monthly payroll for the staff, who are all contractors. I lead the hiring process when we occasionally need a new writer or editor. Then I hand off the onboarding and training to my manager. I also make sure the quality of work overall on the site is good, so I spot check the editorial team and the software teams to make sure they're following our SOPs and keeping high standards. Finally, I still do some keyword and topic research because, honestly, this is one of my favorite parts of the business. That said, I'm still in the middle of documenting and even outsourcing this part, too. So if you were to keep this business, what are some of the ways you were trying to grow it? Well, there are a couple of easy revenue wins that I'm working on right now while the site is up for sale. First of all, our email list of over 40,000 people is nearly unmonetized. So I'm currently working with brands to see if I can get that list sponsored and get some recurring advertising revenue going there. I think there's a lot of space for growth. Secondly, my crowdfunding campaign with Patreon is pretty neglected right now, but I would love to create an integration where users can subscribe to the site for an ad-free experience. There are other sites I see in the space doing this, and they've gotten some success and really grown their revenue with that subscription model. Beyond those easy wins, I can think of so many opportunities for a buyer to explore. One would be to create digital products and sell them to my email list. I think that's pretty untapped right now. This business sale listing even includes a set of online courses that you could build on. Also, I've been pretty lax about setting up good conversion rate optimization on my articles, particularly my affiliate ones. I'm pretty confident that if you put some attention and had some discipline around this, Affiliate revenues could be increased by at least double-digit percentages. Another big opportunity is a project that I currently have in flight, which is a big programmatic SEO play. I think if this works out, it could potentially bring in at least another 10 k a month in affiliate commissions. It just depends on how well Google treats the programmatic results that the application creates. The next place I'd look is that I think there's still a ton of room for traffic and audience growth. So if I were to keep running this business, I would definitely explore growth through Facebook, Pinterest, and video through YouTube. Finally, there's one more really exciting thing that I would say is beyond my skill set. As I mentioned before, I have this big goldmine of data about the game. And so with access to the right developers or data scientists, we could create fantastic software applications using AI. The audience of the game loves this type of stuff. And... Having AI features in your apps helps justify premium pricing models and products. Right. And what would you say are the biggest risks with this business that buyers should be aware of? Well, we all know one of the biggest risks for sites that get a lot of SEO traffic is that Google will stop giving us that consistent traffic. Updates and algorithm changes are a big factor in the SEO space today. However, I think we've seen that this site is resilient to Google updates, given it gets such a high number of branded searches, direct traffic, and it has wide recognition in its niche. The site not only survived the helpful content update, but I would say it thrived by turning in record year-over-year growth. The other big risk to the site is that ad RPMs are very seasonal and they're tied to larger business cycles in the economy. Of course, RPMs can rise and fall at any time, month to month. That's why I've been working on creating additional revenue streams and business partnerships so that I can diversify the site's income. How much support are you willing to offer the buyer who acquires this business? I know the standard is 30 days of phone and email support, but I'm planning to offer a bit more because the game releases new content every couple of months. My content and software both are on a cyclical publishing pattern that go with those content releases. So I plan to work hard to make sure the buyer can go through one of these full content release cycles successfully. That probably means up to 90 days of support in total. I also plan to make sure that our SOPs are completely up to date, and we will keep adding detail to them as we go through a release cycle with you. Got it. And regarding the sale of the business, would you agree to a non-compete? 
I'm totally willing to do a non-compete, but I would definitely want to discuss the details with the buyer further. I am so involved in this game from both a hobby and professional perspective that it would be really sad to spend years without being able to work on anything in the space. That said, I will work closely with you and any potential buyer to make sure I wouldn't be involved in any projects that would compete with this business. Are you open to negotiating something like an earnout agreement? While I would strongly prefer an all-cash deal, I understand, too, that a deal of this size often needs to at least have some small component of seller financing or earnout. Of course, the range of deals that I'm willing to consider will depend a lot on the buyer's specifics as a business, their plans for the site, and the terms they're offering. Okay, final question. If you had to put yourself in the shoes of a buyer, why is your business a business worth buying? Well, of course I'm partial, but I think it's a great financial purchase, a great strategic purchase, and a great business purchase. From a financial perspective, the business is generating a lot of free cash every month and has great profit margins. In fact, it's nearly doubled in profit year over year the past two years. So when you buy it, you're buying something that you could either simply maintain with great cash flow, or you could use its built-in audience and completely dominate the market for the game. Or you could copy its business model over to other related games, too. Strategically, this business has a lot of competitive moats as far as having unique software, a huge repository of unique data, excellent brand recognition, tons of great backlinks, a huge email list. It goes on and on. And finally, in terms of operations, you'd be acquiring a great business system. We have a wonderful staff that are following well-defined SOPs and processes, and it's a pleasure to manage. Is there anything else you'd like to add that you think buyers would like to know about your business? Well, I guess I'd like to leave you with a sense of the long-term growth potential of the business and the niche. This business isn't just a content site. It's a few content and software brands with several complementary parts working together. So for example, the organic and social traffic brings users to the main domain. Then those users are monetized immediately through ad revenue and affiliate recommendations, but many are captured into email where we educate and entertain them, and then we sell them on courses and try to persuade them to download our application. Then that email list also drives traffic back to the site, which generates even more audience connection and further revenue. This is such a great base to build on. And then when you zoom out to the niche level, this game has lasted 30 years and is still doing very well for its parent company, which is publicly traded. I would expect to keep capturing gamers' attention and their dedication for many years to come. All right, everyone, thanks for listening. To learn more and see if this business is still for sale, head over to empireflippers.com forward slash marketplace and search for this business listing number, which you can find in the video thumbnail and description. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. Once you've unlocked this listing, you'll find everything you need to know about this business. So thanks for joining us. See you next time.